Now then you've chilled me again, you actually lad, we another video and it's a Xbox 360 top 10 survival horror games. They're in no particular order. Leave a comment below if you think it's a crap selection or it's a good selection or there's some good ones and crap ones, whatever. Hope everybody's doing all right. Thanks to all subscribers who stuck by us. Hello to no subscribers, I've picked up a couple of subscribers. So hello to you, thank you very much, I have returned the favour. So, much appreciated. Hope everybody's uh, staying safe and that and uh, keeping this ends occupied over this lockdown. Keep smiling. Might come back to some normality sometime. Right, there's 10 games all together. So, they're in, like I said, they're in no particular order. Um, they're just what I've played and what have... Uh, some of them have scared me, some of them haven't. They've made me laugh more than hope, but there that goes. Right, without further ado, let's crack on. First one is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. A lot of people will probably think this is crap. Uh, I thought it were all right. It's not special. It's not in my top 10 survival horror games, but it's all right. It's not bad. There's better Resident Evil games out there than this anyway, so... Like I say, if you've played any of them, leave a comment below, let me know. This one, I've not seen that. I've only seen it once and I picked it up. I paid just 4 99 for this. I've never seen it before, so... And it's Monster Madness Battle for Suburbia. Never seen it before, so... You take on masses of zombies and monsters and stuff. Slash, shoot and drive through a horde of invading monsters as you battle to save suburbia. So... You can play online with 16 players. Up to four players can team up one system. Build and upgrade an arsenal of incredible shooter weapons. So... Yeah, so, yeah. Monster Madness Battle for Suburbia. Next one. Classic game, enjoyed film as well. It's Aliens vs Predator. Classic. This is backwards compatibility with Xbox One. I've got Steelbook version as well of this. Classic. Right, and really enjoyed it. It's a good game, is this? Highly underrated. You can pick this up. Highly recommend it. Another one where I enjoyed, I think it were a bit daft, but I think it's all right. I enjoyed it anyway, and it's there's two there's two games. There's Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. I just picked the first one that I come across, which were Left 4 Dead 2. So it's alright. I, I enjoyed it. A lot of people will differ probably. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. So No friends, more zombies, better apocalypse. So another one I really enjoyed. Classic. And it's Dev Rising. Really enjoyed this. I've not completed it yet, but really enjoyed it. So, it is a good game. I enjoyed it, really. So, yeah, really enjoyed it. Next one, one at Silent Hill Games, and it's Silent Hill Down Power. Played a bit of it, not much. I've only got about f maybe five, six hours into this. I'll have to crack on with it and see if I can uh, finish it. But really enjoyed it. What a bit I've played anyway. Another underrated game that I think should be up there, in my opinion. It's backwards compatibility, same with Resident... Um, sorry, Di Silent Hill Downpour. And it's Alan Wake. It's a good game as well. I've got about 30, 40 hours into this, so I've still not completed it yet. Really, really enjoyed it, so I'm going to have to try and crack on and get some of these games finished. I'm not bothered about game scores and that. Next one. One at Dead Island Games. 
I like Dead Island, but I can't find it. I've got it somewhere, I know I have. But there's Dead Island Riptide. And then there's Escape Dead Island as well, which I've got. It's not bad, really enjoyed this. I've not completed it, I've nearly done it. But it is a good game. I'll have to go back to this again. See if I can uh, finish it. So. Next one. Winner of the year, winner of over 80 Game at Year Awards. And it's The Walking Dead. A Telltale Game Series. This is backwards compatibility with Xbox One as well. Completed this. It is a, I enjoyed it, mate. Story. I really enjoyed it. I even managed to keep Young Lass alive. So, really enjoyed it. And last but by no means least, start of a three series of games. And it's Fear. And I think it's an underrated game, me. I really enjoyed it. It's better than I thought, actually. I've not completed any of them yet. I've not played them yet, but I will get round to it eventually. There that goes. So, you'll have to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of me survival horror games. There's, I think there's some decent ones in there, but they might think different. Everybody's different, aren't they? So, click that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'll... Uploading another video, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, to Twitter, Facebook and all that. If you could get us to 20, 20 likes, please. 15, 20 likes, much appreciated. I shall be uploading again. Probably try and get two or three videos out next week, all being well. So, much appreciated to no subscribers and your stuck buyers. And I'll try and get on with it now. I got sent home from our lasses. So, hopefully I can start chaining out some more content and that and uh, try and get some more subscribers and keep ticking over and try and figure out some more videos to do. If you've got any ideas for no videos at all, let me know. If I've got them, I'll try and do it for you, no problem. Like some of me... Xbox games, Xbox 360, PS2. I've got a small collection of PS1. I've not got many PS3 games. That's maybe what I'll have to start. Bulking me um, system up with eventually. But I can't do a note at the moment because there's no top and is there. And I'm not paying stupid prices online and stuff. I've not seen much on Facebook Marketplace either. So, but hey ho. Right, I've done enough work for each. Right, stay safe. That knows what I'm going to say now, don't they? It's going to say it weird. It'll do for me. One, two, three. I'll see the. <laughs>